Hello everyone, my last video about The Simpsons predictions got 4k views which is just awesome for a channel nobody knows and almost half a year later I decided to make a sequel for that video. So there's a lot of myths around iconic American shows The Simpsons. They say The Simpsons know what's going to happen and almost all of their predictions come true. As if there's a Masonic Lodge behind making of harmless cartoon and they give clues to us, mere mortals. But what if I tell you The Simpsons never predicted anything and all the conspiracy theories about their predictions are either too exaggerated or out of context or just fake? Let's get into it. In the last video, we exposed such fake predictions as 9-11, picture of Trump with the president of Egypt and Saudi Arabia, coronavirus and of course, Trump's presidency. Today we'll look into some of the other predictions allegedly done by The Simpsons. But what if I can't? Let's get into the details of their first prediction about the Ebola virus. This episode made a lot of noise in 2014 when there indeed was a real Ebola epidemic in countries of African continent. October 19th, 1997, third episode of season 9 was broadcasted. In the plot, Marge suggests Bart, who was sick, to read a book, Curious George, and Ebola virus before sleep. There's a monkey on the cover. Allegedly, these monkeys were at fault for spreading the virus. In 17 years, there was an epidemic of Ebola in the real world. Did scientists know something worth thinking about? But no, Ebola virus was identified by scientists in 1976 and named Ebola after the river close to the area of the first epidemic. And there were a lot of viral outbreaks all the time, but in 1995, there was a large one and it was in the news everywhere. There was one in the year of the episode too. So there's no surprise in The Simpsons taking something out of the agenda and making a sketch about it. Oh yeah, starting with an expose. But exposing this prediction was nothing difficult. All the information was on the surface. Next prediction is more interesting. The Simpsons predicted the mass of Higgs boson 14 years earlier than the scientists. In the Wizard of Evergreen Terrace episode, Homer wants to be an inventor as great as Thomas Edison. He invents, for example, the electric hammer, or a gun that does make up for women by shooting them in the face. And while doing that, he writes an equation on the board, just some numbers. And this is a prediction of Higgs boson mass, God's particle. CERN specialists found the exact mass and prove it exists only in 2012 by building the Large Hadron Collider. Not really. Take a look. Homer writes an equation and we see that according to it, the mass of Higgs boson is 775 giga electron volts. After many years, the scientists managed to find the mass and guess how much it was? 125 giga electron volts. Where's the goddamn coincidence? But to be fair, it was a good attempt. How did the Simpsons manage to guess at least the approximate mass? That sounds impossible. The thing is that one of the scientists, David Cohen, isn't just some cartoon scenarist, but also a man of science. He graduated at Harvard and Berkeley physicist and master of computer science. Who could have thought? The equation on the board was his idea and he called his old friend David Shaminovich, astronomy professor who did an approximate equation. Actually, The Simpsons aren't as dumb as many of you might be thinking. And since we talk about science now, let's also get into some technologies, inventions of which was supposedly predicted by The Simpsons. For example, did you know that The Simpsons predicted words autocorrection in smartphones back in 1994, while it only appeared in 2007? Wow, that's something interesting. If you don't pay attention to the device called Newton, the logo parodying Apple in the episode, what could it mean? It means that Apple indeed had a device called Newton. We can find that half a year before the episode, there were some articles in the newspaper. Here it says that Apple screwed up again and Newton couldn't even correct its own name. And there was a complete mess with translation. The Simpsons just made fun of another story. And in 1997, The Simpsons predicted things like Oculus Rift and PSVR. To put it simple, VR glasses. Let's pretend we're complete idiots and we didn't know that almost every sci-fi author from the past predicted it. And let's take a look at the facts. 1992, The Lawnmower Man Movie. But wait, there's more. In 1962, the 
father of virtual reality was patented called Sensorama. Then there were VR helmets in 79 and 85. It's weird to even think that this technology could only have its roots from the end of the 90s. Smart watches, 95. Sure, but it was also predicted in sci-fi and particularly in Star Trek. But smart watches were long before The Simpsons. For example, Seiko TV watch in 1982 with TV and Sinquare FM prototype in 1985. Action camera predicted in 1984 repeat that while looking at the picture from the 60s. Video connection was predicted 10 years before it was made? Yeah, 1879 telephonoscope. I mean, at least there was a concept. What about picture phone or maybe lumophone, maybe video phone? But you know, these predictions are somewhat too easy to expose. Let's take a look at something serious. And for that, we have an actual awful topic. After rewatching New Kids on the Black episode, which was out in 2001, viewers found some similarities between the plot and the war in Syria. Bart makes a musical band, Party Posse, and makes a music video in which they attack Arab soldiers and American planes. Also, there are signs of Syrian opposition. For example, flag on SUV door. While the flag of Syria opposition only appeared in 2011, did the Simpsons know something? Of course they did. The flag of Syria opposition wasn't invented. They just copied an old flag of Syrian Arab Republic used until 1963. But how did the Simpsons predict it? Well, let us not put it out of context and listen to the song playing through this scene. Yes, about Saddam Hussein, who was the president of Iraq. Your love's more deadly than Saddam. And that's why I gotta drop the bomb. And we all remember that in 1998, the USA conducted an Operation Desert Fox where they did bomb Iraq. Do you know the Iraq flag? Looks similar, doesn't it? But that's just me finishing the thought. Maybe it was a mistake and they meant Iraq troops since it really happened. The context is what's really important here. That's just Texas sharpshooter fallacy. But I think I should finish today's video from the Simpsons fake prediction series. If you like it, then please press like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps developing. And if this video gets 20 likes, I'm releasing a new episode. Bye-bye.